Across the island of Sodor, there is a need for all sorts of goods, from food and cattle to timber and coal. The island cannot operate without goods trains running both night and day. Goods trains carry cargo that is either coming to the island or is being taken to the harbour to load into ships for export to other areas of the world. Many different types of trucks make up goods trains. There are wooden plank wagons which can hold coal, stone, scrap, and many other things. Box vans can hold larger goods items and can even be refrigerated. Bolster wagons carry long, awkward items such as logs, beams, and heavy boxes. Trucks can be prone to mischief, but at their core, they understand that they are an asset to the railway. Many of the trucks like to talk to engines outside of work. Indeed, all trucks were very friendly once an engine got to know them. However, there was once a truck who was not very friendly at all. In fact, he was a very, very awful truck. It had been said that something went wrong when his builder constructed him. A rivet out of line, or a wood piece was rotten. No one quite knows. What was certain is that he placed many engines in a great deal of danger. But one day, he went too far. The morning was brisk when it happened. A thick fog had descended on the island, and Percy the Green Engine had arrived at the quarry to arrange his trucks for the first trip down the branch line. He was very tired that morning, and wasn't attending to what he was doing. The evil truck, due to his dangerous nature, had been placed on a remote siding to prevent engines from using him. But Percy's grogginess and the thick fog caused him to misjudge which siding he took trucks from. Without knowing, he had placed the evil truck at the head of his train. The foreman didn't recognize the mistake either, and loaded the wagons without objection. The time came for Percy to leave, and he pulled out of the quarry none the wiser that disaster lay ahead. The evil truck, in his narrow mind, began hatching an awful scheme. If I and the trucks all bang at just the right time, we can pull little Percy off the rails. The branch line ran around sharp curves on a steep hill. If an engine was to fall off the rails, he might slide down on the hill and crash into one of the many neighbouring cottages. So Topham had to place fences along the track to prevent this, but the evil track had other plans. After Percy had cleared the waterfall, he started down the first bend. The evil truck screeched on his brakes, signalling to the other trucks to hold back. The sudden force pulled down on Percy's rear coupler, picking his front wheels off the rails. Oh, oh, oh! Percy cried. Then the truck surged ahead, and with a crack of the coupling, Percy came off the rails onto the crest of the hill. His wheels, still moving, began to grip onto the sod, and he jerked forwards down the hill. The fog was so thick he couldn't see where he was going, but the evil truck knew. Goodbye, Percy, he croaked. Percy tumbled and tumbled until he saw the outline of a cottage ahead. Oh, Horace, yelled Percy. Sensing the impending crash, Percy's driver and fireman jumped from the footplate. Meanwhile, the evil truck had forced the train's brakes so he could stop and listen. A few seconds later, Percy careened into the house, top of a hill. The truck heard the sounds of wood splintering and muffled cries of those inside. He began to cackle madly. Stupid engineers, look where he's going next time. The evil truck gawfed. The other trucks were horrified. What have you done? You've lied to us, they screamed. You all saw and caught it. We were only going to scare Percy, one truck said. Yes, you're insane, the other truck added. We didn't expect this to happen. But the evil truck didn't care. His laughter echoed over the hills and below to where Percy laid, battered and bruised, regretting ever placing the evil truck on his train that morning. The tragic accident left a deep scar indeed. Percy was mended. The lives of those in the cottage were lost. In disgrace, Sir Tom Hatt scrapped the evil truck immediately. From then on, he was very careful about the character of the trucks he brought to the island to prevent such an awful affair from ever happening again.